Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ali. I'm a final year medical student at Cambridge University, and this is a series of videos where I've interviewed a lot of my medical student friends and asked them for advice about the medicine application process. Last week, we did a video about the personal statements. This week's video is all about applying to Cambridge. So if you're thinking of applying to Cambridge, but you're a bit unsure whether the course is gonna be for you or about the whole stereotype thing associated with Cambridge, then hopefully you'll find some of the stuff in this video useful. We'll start by talking about five questions that you should ask yourself uh, if you're thinking of applying to Cambridge and then we'll go on to talk a little bit about open days and to talk about the stereotypes associated with Cambridge and whether that should stop you from applying. We'll start off with Callum, Paul, Jake, Marcus and Shalin talking about these five questions that you should ask yourself to work out whether Cambridge is going to be for you and I'll see you in just a moment. So the kind of person that finds the like science of medicine as well as the people bit of medicine particularly interesting will do well here. We don't abandon the people bit of medicine Everybody's got to learn that, and you've got to be good at that by the end. But if you are academically interested in medicine per se, then this is a good course for you. As a learner, I like to understand things conceptually. I like to build up my understanding of things from the ground up, uh, from first principles, and, and Cambridge teaches in that way. If you are somebody who likewise likes to learn things conceptually, likes to build up understanding rather than rote memorization, then you should definitely think about applying to Cambridge. So the good thing about Cambridge is that they're sort of they're unashamed about what it is they set out to do with their medical education. So if you want to be hands-on with patients from the word go, it, it isn't the right place for you and, and they make no bones about that. However, if you do like the sciences and you're happy to have a theoretical approach to medicine from the start, it could well be for you. So do you like small group teachings? We have supervisions, which is usually a, a doctor or a, a senior person in the in the faculty who does supervisions with three or four people. And sometimes they can be quite intense. It's, you, you know, sometimes they, they're yeah. even one-on-one. -on -one. So it's that small group teaching. And the first few years are pretty heavy on the science. And we do have things like writing essays and yeah. science practicals. So I think it's more that side of things that you would have to consider which are, which you would be suitable for. And also the Cambridge terms are quite intense. We yeah. have eight weeks of lectures, supervisions, and you have to fit in a social life and sleep. So you have to be able to cope with those intense eight week terms. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It, it is a lot and of it, work. It is a lot, but it, they're also really fun. It's really fun. It's one of those things where, because it's so <laughs> difficult, you should band together with your friends yeah, and yeah. push through. Cause, and that's what makes it such a good experience, yeah. I think, because it is difficult. Yeah. But you, you make such good friends because yeah. of, sort of the things you go through together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so those are the five questions we think you should be asking yourself to work out whether you want to be applying to Cambridge for medicine. Now we're going to turn to Molly, who's going to be talking about open days and her own experience of applying. So I think open days, if you can get to an open day, I think they're really informative. Um, I wasn't keen on Cambridge actually. Um, I didn't think I would be good enough. I thought it was a completely different world of people. Um, and it was only when I was forced by my parents to go to one of the open days that I realised there were people just like me at this open day as well. Um, and people just like me who were giving people tours who were already students there. Um, and it really gave me hope actually that this was a place that you could go um, as a sort of normal person. Um, you didn't have to be um, a complete nerd and all of that. Um, so I think Open Day is really helpful, um, especially as Cambridge has so many colleges. I think it's really useful to see as many colleges as you can um, and get an idea of what the system is. Um, and for me, what convinced me of my college was actually the admissions tutor talk. So I think attending talks like that is great because you can see the people who will end up teaching you if you come here. And finally, let's turn to a discussion about stereotypes. Now, I know this bit won't apply to everyone because a lot of people aren't really concerned about the stereotypes. Um, I mean, when I was applying, I was a bit worried that people were going to be weird in Cambridge, but that didn't really stop me from, from applying. But over the last five, six years of helping students with their medicine applications, I have heard quite a lot of times that students are reluctant to apply here um, or apply to Oxford because they are genuinely concerned about the negative stereotypes, they're concerned they won't be able to fit in, uh, they're concerned that everyone's going to be really weird and like really nerdy, you know, all of these kind of things and, and the media doesn't really help with this. We get these news articles about Cambridge students burning money in front of homeless people and weird interview questions and, and all of this stuff kind of creates this image that Oxford and Cambridge are places for other people rather than places for normal people like us. So I mean, 
If you are concerned about, about fitting into Cambridge, then I think you might want to watch this next section. If you've already decided to apply, or it doesn't really concern you because because you just love the idea of going to Oxford or Cambridge, then feel free to feel free to skip ahead. But we're going to get Chidera, Marcus Shalin, and myself talking about the Cambridge stereotype uh, and about fitting in and that general area. I hope you find it useful. I can tell you now that looking around a lot of my lectures, there aren't many people that look like me. Um, but for me, that was more of a motivation. I think Cambridge isn't going to change until more of us apply and more of us get here. So even if you feel like you don't fit the mould, Realise that there is space here for you regardless because the only thing you have to do is be intelligent enough to go here. That's literally the only box you have to check. So even if you feel like you don't fit what the media tells you is the Cambridge stereotype or whatever, if you're intelligent enough then you, you have earned your place here. So just, just bear that in mind. Don't think that you have to fit a certain mould or change when you get here. That's not true at all. Yeah, so. I think the Cambridge stereotype is permeates through society. Yeah. But I don't think there is one. You yeah, know, the medics you, are all very different. Exactly. I, I think that's the thing that struck me. That I initially thought, oh, that there was going to be such a stereotype, it was going to be hard to fit in. But really, everyone's really down to earth. Everyone has their own thing that they do. People do different things. Yeah. Some people are incredibly sporty, and that's so much of their life. Mm -hmm. Other people like working. Like, there's so many things that people get involved yeah. with here in Cambridge. It, there isn't really one thing. And yeah. that, like, if people are worried about fitting in, that's. That's not, not really issue. some an issue because yeah. so many different people come to Cambridge and that's Shalin was saying, the Cambridge sort of sort of the stereotype if you if you would to permeate society, it's everywhere. So mm -hmm. people from everywhere sort of come here, um, and you'll find somewhere to fit in. That's good. I've I've spoken to a lot of people over the years who who've been thinking of applying to Cambridge and haven't ultimately, despite my trying to convince them, because they've decided, oh Cambridge isn't for me, I'm not the type of person for Cambridge. And what I'd say to that is that, yes, you are the type of person for Cambridge. If you don't fit the mould of, you know, private school, white, male, you know, th that kind of thing. If you, even if you, do, if you don't fit that mould, then you are exactly the type of person who should be applying to Cambridge. Because how else will Cambridge's diversity increase? How, el will, how else will Cambridge become a place for everyone unless people like you apply? Um, and actually, there are, there are loads of YouTubers around, uh, Ibs Mo particularly, that are, are, are doing a really good job of trying to smash this Cambridge stereotype of the white middle class rich male student. Um, so, I mean, if you're in, in need of inspiration, I'll put some links in the, in the description. You should definitely check out their channels. They're doing a great job. The Cambridge Communications Department is also doing a great job of trying to show that, come on, Cambridge is not this, this, that. It's, it's not just this negative stereotype. It's a wonderful place and we need wonderful people like you to apply. All right, so thank you very much for watching. That brings us to the end of this video. Uh, we've talked about the five questions that you should ask yourself if you're unsure of whether you should apply to Cambridge. And then we talked a little bit about open days and about fitting in and about the whole stereotype situation. In conclusion, I mean, I absolutely love it here. The vast majority of my friends absolutely love it at Cambridge and I've got a few friends at Oxford as well who, who, quite, who quite like it there as well. I'd say that if you're thinking of applying to Cambridge, the only thing that should help you decide one way or another is whether you think the course is going to be right for you. If you're the kind of person that enjoys the academic side of things, that, that would cope well with the intense terms, then yeah, definitely apply. Cambridge is fantastic. I personally have had a wonderful time over the last six years and I mean, this is our final year and I was speaking to a lot of my friends and we're all really, really sad to be leaving and we can't imagine having gone anywhere else, anywhere else for medicine. But ultimately, of course, the decision is down to you. I just hope that after watching this video, hopefully, if if even a handful of people decide to actually apply to Cambridge rather than thinking that, you know, that it's, it's not for them or that or they wouldn't fit in, then that would be a very positive outcome. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. We've got loads more videos coming out over the next few weeks about interviews mostly. And I vlog every now and then about life as a medical student, which some people find interesting. Uh, but hey, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.